you know, we say it over and over again, and I saw the new figures on economic impact, it's $87 billion, still the number one industry. And to tell you the truth, if we ever get out of this recession we're in in agriculture because of low prices and the things we've gone through, I think we'll blow right by that $100 uh, billion figure that I put out there that's a, that's a goal. So, no, I don't think they do, but they better learn to respect it now and to revere it. Uh, this is where your food comes from. You know, ag is in a, really in a crisis, whether it's commodity prices or, or whatever. And, you know, the Farm Act, this is our sixth one we have done. Some, several of them have been controversial, and this one certainly takes the cake. But, I mean, it's important that we make sure that we get the laws in place that will protect our farmers, not only now, but for future generations. Well, they, they do and they don't, uh, you know, because we take it for granted that we're going to have food tomorrow. I use this phrase sometimes that the urbanites thinks that food comes from the grocery store, and it actually doesn't. It comes from the farms across the state. We are important. We might be the minority. You know, we're less than 2% now in the nation, but we are an important minority that needs to be taken seriously. I've been having trouble figuring out the dynamics of all this. Uh, you know, we've got nuisance lawsuits, but in my humble opinion, uh, it is admirable to raise the food and the fiber and sometimes even fuel the public, and most of them can't feed themselves. So I'm having trouble trying to rationalize that. So we've got a big education process that we've got to go through. This is one of those days when we're gonna be educating and telling people you know, this is a blessing, by the way. Uh, we've got an abundant food supply, an affordable food supply. So, you know, this is what you need to be thinking about when you think about agriculture. It's a blessing.